Hello, my name is Kelvin from Nairobi, Kenya, and uh, I'm from DukaPress.org. I'm going to show you how to make a simple shop using DukaPress in less than 10 minutes. So let's start. This is uh, uh, a normal WordPress install, just freshly installed, nothing done to it. And this is what we're going to use for DukaPress installation. So I'm going to head over to the WordPress admin section. That's where you start. Um, we need to install DukaPress, therefore we shall, uh, shall just log in. Um, demo, then my password. Now, once we're in, we need to install DukaPress. We go to Add New Plugins. It's in the WordPress plugin repository. Um, DukaPress. Let me search. And we say Install Now. Once it, it comes up, Install Now. Now, of course, I'm making this video to celebrate our 1,000th download from the WordPress plugin repository. Uh, let me just activate it. Now, when, when DukaPress activates, it uh, uh, brings a, a new menu to WordPress admin. We'll just see that in a minute. You'll see we have the DukaPress settings menu and the new product uh, section, which is uh, actually powered by WordPress 3.0 custom post types. Now, uh, when you freshly install DukaPress, there are some things you need to do before you begin. These are well documented in our documentation, DukaPress.org slash docs. The first thing you need to do is to create two pages, checkout page and thank you page. I shall go ahead and create those right now. Um, add new pages, one, two. Now on the checkout page, you need to put this short code there. That goes to the checkout page. checkout and uh, I don't want comments on that page therefore I turn them off and I publish and I take this is this goes this short code goes to the thank you page I take it I paste it into this thank you page I say thank you exclamation mark and I publish that as well now once it's published I can go ahead and close it we don't need it anymore Okay, that, that, that's the first step you need to create those pages. Once you've created them, um, just open the, the, pages very well, the pages view. You go to DukaPress settings and you'll need to enter the, the, the URLs of the pages that you just created into DukaPress to make it active. Um, this is the checkout. I'll copy the URL, copy the link. Um, check out and uh, thank you I put the thank you page um, I want the tax to be zero I uh, activate all the payment options I wanted light box I've named my, my shop demo the address is there the state or province is there the postal code is there the town is there and of course the country is Kenya Kenya shillings and the, that's a symbol for the Kenyan currency now once all that is ready I just save Now that I've saved that, now DukaPress is ready to accept products. Therefore, I shall add a product. I shall call it product one. And um, this is the description. Description for product one. Now, uh, before a product can be used uh, with DukaPress, you have to add a specific shortcode to each and every product that you create. And that shortcode is on the, again, it's on our documentation, on the create a new product page, right at the bottom. This is the shortcode. I need to put it inside the, the post or the product, uh, the one I'm creating. And um, I, I can therefore use the new, as of DukaPress 1.2, the new uh, graphical user interface, where you can easily uh, create and edit products using it. I want the price to be 60. Currently in stock I have 10, 5 of them in stock and it's 250 grams. It's sort of download and uh, I want to sell it in two versions, one small and one large. Therefore the option name is size and the variation is small. Small is the normal base price which is 60 therefore I don't, I don't need to enter anything here. And uh, but large will be 25 
shillings more than the small therefore I, sh I shall put 25 there and I shall say save now my product is ready apart from one thing which is the product picture I'll just add it using the normal WordPress uh, way um, just select it I want to call it uh, I want to take that picture now all that Luca press needs is that you you just attach a picture. You don't need to actually put the picture into the post. Um, so I, uh, all I need to do is upload it like that, and I say save all changes. Then I can close this, and I have my my product ready. If I want, I can disable comments on the product or not. Um, I need to categorize it. Let's add a new category. Let's call it African art. A new category and I'm ready publish so that's our first product we can view it let me add another product so this is product one you see how it looks like so it's ready to go everything looks spick, spick and span this is product two another description oh, let me just capitalize this P and this two and um, I uh, of course need to add the short code for the product which is this one add it to the top add a picture I see save all changes sorry save all changes and I close that I want it to be at 50 um, 500 520 grams and um, I don't want any other options so I say publish and there you go second product this is product one can see the nice light box effect. This is product two. Earrings. Now I want to create a page where I can view all the products in a grid fashion. Therefore I need to create a new page and I'll call it the products page. Products. And uh, to to uh, make p uh, products show up in a grid fashion, I need, I need a, a shortcut to do that. Uh, I'll find it again on the DrupalPress documentation area. It's called the DPSC grid display. And um, the good thing we have done is that we have given you a really nice example. Uh, all you need to, to do is take this example of ours and change the the variables to be to match your own site. Therefore, I should put it there. And the, the most important thing, of course, to do is to change the category. Here it says category is equals to one. You need to change this one to match your own category ID. And to find it, you go to your, your categories section in WordPress. Now, remember, I created a category and I named it uh, African art. Therefore, I need to find the ID of African art. If I hover on African art at the bottom of the page and the, the status bar, you see that it's called, it says uh, tag ID equals to four. Now, four is a category ID. Therefore, I come here and I change this one to four. And I don't want comments. Say publish. Mm. Now it's done. Let me just have a look at whether I, I added the second product to the same to that same category. Oh, I didn't, so I have to do it now. If you cannot. And um Let's see. Refresh the page. You see, I have my, my new product section. And there you go. Those are your products. Uh, those are uh, a shop that you can start selling your items. And I've done it in less than 10 minutes. This is Kevin from, from DukaPress.org. Please use DukaPress. It's so easy. Goodbye.